My best friend is jumping into an unhealthy poly relationship. Okay. This might be a doozy. To clarify, I'm not in a relationship with my best friend, we'll call her Julia. She's currently with her boyfriend of two years, and I just found out from her boyfriend that she's wanting a polyamorous relationship with someone she met a few weeks ago, who managed to woo her to such an unhealthy extreme that she's detaching herself from her friends, work, and even her boyfriend, to talk with him. This person, we'll call him Tim, met my best friend while she was emotionally vulnerable. Tim has given my best friend constant validation in a time where she's extremely stressed and desperately needed it. I noticed that little by little, Julia has been detaching herself from not just her best friend, but all her friends. She texts Tim while she's supposed to be working. She texts Tim at 1am or later, when she normally goes to bed much earlier. She started ignoring my texts or leaving me on read to text Tim. She prefers to text him over spending time with her friends or boyfriend. Lately, everything is about Tim. Julia has completely forgotten about her friends, and has pushed her boyfriend's feelings aside. I found out from her boyfriend about the polyamorous relationship she is trying to establish with Tim. Her boyfriend told me that he was not supposed to talk to anyone about it, especially her best friend, me. Well, he broke down and talked to me about it, and I found out that the odd, distant behavior I've noticed over the course of a month wasn't in my head, it's because of Tim. Not only that, but she tried to hide it from everyone by not letting her boyfriend talk about it, and by not even mentioning Tim to me. This is incredibly out of character for her. After a several hours long conversation with Julia's boyfriend, it's clear to me that Julia is being emotionally manipulated. Not only that, but she convinced her boyfriend to be okay with a polyamorous relationship. At least he thought he was, until he broke down to me, and told me how he really felt. Tim is pulling at the right emotional strings at the right time to keep Julia wrapped around his finger. I sincerely believe that Julia is making a bad decision by talking to Tim, she has completely changed. She doesn't talk to her friends anymore, she doesn't work properly anymore, she lies to me and her boyfriend, and she's just not her. How do I go about having a conversation with her that Tim is a bad influence, and that she's being manipulated? Now for the top advice. You don't. If she is so wrapped up in him it will be easy for him to turn her against you and you lose your friend. And for clarification, she doesn't want a true poly relationship. She wants permission to cheat. Poly is a real thing. But that's not how that works. Sadly, this is one of the times you let her crash and burn. Only thing I would do if I were you, is tell her BF to break up with her. I realize this is absolutely not the norm, but I feel like I'll sometimes hear about very emotionally manipulative guys who use the cover of poly, as a way to justify them building a small harem of women around them. Again. I want to be clear this is an exception, but it feels like an archetype I've seen more than once. Pretty interesting. In this situation, you might not be able to convince her that she is being manipulated, and you should come to terms with that before you have the conversation with her. In the end, it's her life and her decision to choose either Tim, or her other obligations. To choose to sleep, to text during work, etc. She may be being manipulated, but she isn't being forced to make any of these decisions. In that way, you have to accept that part of her wants to be with Tim instead of her boyfriend or other friends. Her boyfriend, first, needs to be honest that he doesn't want a poly relationship. You and her friends just need to let her know that you love her and you want to spend more time with her, and it makes you sad that she lies to you. That's probably the first step, instead of trying to convince her to believe in your perception of her life. She might feel attacked and distance herself even further. Good luck. This right here. Whatever your estimation of the health of the potential relationship, no matter the red flags, new relationship energy is a serious bastard. Convincing her that anything is wrong, may prove impossible. Encouraging good communication from everyone and letting her know your own feelings honestly is all you can do. Some people need to go through crap like this, sometimes multiple times, before they figure out how to be cautious with new relationships. They're both being manipulative dude. Julia manipulated her boyfriend into a poly relationship just as much as Tim is manipulating her into a poly relationship. Try to save your friend by all means. But it might be best for her boyfriend to move on if Julia refuses to change. Even if she does change, I think the boyfriend should move on. She's already cheating, she doesn't get a pass just because she slapped a fake poly label on it. Now for the second story. My, 24 male, girlfriend, 21 female is weirdly intimate with her supposed best friend, 21 male. So, about a year and a half ago I started dating this girl. 
She already knew this other guy I'm going to talk about for some time, not much more. They were mates at university, and since when I met her they were together, I immediately noticed they were extremely intimate, I was sure they were dating actually. I was clearly wrong, since she was the one to hit on me and we started dating. We dated for a few months and I rarely saw the guy, she kept both worlds separated as much as she could. Still, I know they spent a lot of time together and was a bit jealous, but she told me not to worry about it. I was not really worried, we were clearly a lot into each other. After a few months we broke up, because I got a job abroad and I didn't feel like long distance would work. We still kept in touch of each other. Couple of months ago she moves abroad, not to the country where I'm working, and after a bit we agree I would visit her. We decide we should try long distance. When she visited me last week, I couldn't help but notice she still texted a lot with the guy, I mean why not, he is her best friend. Still, even though I am ashamed of that, I was left alone with her phone and I couldn't help myself, I had to take a look at her chat with him. As much as what I did was wrong, I think what I found was equally wrong. First of all, they text a lot, and I mean a lot. Like every day, with multiple texts a day. That's not the point though. I read this exchange from a few days prior where she talked about us saying something like, we would break up in a terrible way. She was half joking, but she also told me the same, also joking. She also asked him if he would take her, and our children, after our divorce. At that point I was sure she was kidding, of course we've never talked about marriage or kids. Still, reading that stuff bothered me a lot. Am I being paranoid? Does she have feelings for him and hides behind the jokes? I honestly never had this kind of interactions with any friend of mine. I also wouldn't want to tell her him or me, because she does not have many friends, plus we have not been dating for that long. By the way, I am sure he's single so I doubt it's something like she's with me because she can't be with him. Now for the top advice. Anytime a woman says don't worry about him. About the guy you are definitely worried about. Just walk away. Either you really should be worried because they have a thing going on, because they do. Or your insecurities are so much that you'd be bad in a relationship anyways. Just walk away and find someone who makes you a priority. She obviously doesn't. Yup, trust your gut OP there's a bunch of stories in this sub about the guy she tells her boyfriend not to worry about. Can I ask you why you're saying, she obviously doesn't? It doesn't look that obvious to me. I mean aside from this thing, I would say everything is going well. Um it's probably just silly humor. Like I have a friend and we always joke if we're not married by a certain age, we'd marry each other, which we never actually would. If the interaction makes you uncomfortable, then you may have to decide if this is the relationship for you. Because she probably see this as harmless, and is unlikely to stop these interactions. How can you be sure about that though? I mean you can be sure you would never, not that he or she would never. I don't think you are paranoid. If that makes you uncomfortable, you should bring it up and determine if that is a deal breaker. What she said to the guy does come off kind of in a flirtatious way in my opinion, and I'm a girl. My current BF, when I was single, I joked with him about making a pact to get married by 27 if we were still single. Although I was saying it jokingly, I was seriously down. We're not near that age yet, but we're currently dating now. Like I said, I made a similar joke as your GF, but I was single. I can't see any reason why I would say that to any of my guy friends when I'm with someone else. But that's just me. What scares me the most is the fact that looking at the answers I got, basically all of the girls are implying she probably has feelings for him. To be honest I'm sure she also has feelings for me, she clearly showed that. But I'm not sure I can actually be with someone insecure about the way they feel about someone else. I'll try to talk to her as honestly as I can, even though I hate admitting I went through her phone. Unfortunately, I'll have to wait, I really don't want to do this over WhatsApp or via webcam. Now for the next story. My girlfriend, 20 female, might break up with me, 20 male, because God told her to. My girlfriend and I have been in a great relationship for 3 years now. I love her and I've never once thought about breaking up with her. She is my best friend and I can't imagine being without her. That's why I have to come here, because any thoughts I have won't be from a neutral perspective. About a week ago she told me that she wants to pursue a better relationship with God, understandable as she comes from a religious household. I thought it would be good for her and encouraged it. Yesterday she came out and told me that God told her she needs a season of independence to grow in her faith. I've never been very religious, so I didn't really know what she was talking about. She explained that she may break up with me to do some individual growing. 
This isn't the first time she has thought about breaking up with me. She may deny it, but there have been two times in the past where she has told me she was thinking about it. She says that she wants to remain friends and has the intention of getting back together with me, but I don't think I could do that. I think I would be too hurt to want to see her again. I'm torn up about it and I don't know what to think. She wants everything to go back to normal for the time being, and hasn't decided whether she is going to break up with me yet. I'm devastated. I don't even know what to think or how to feel. Should I end it now and on my terms? Should I wait and see what she decides? Any other suggestions? Thank you in advance. Now for the top advice. Holy crap, your girlfriend had a personal conversation with God? What's God like? Either that or your girlfriend is blaming her decisions on God to make it seem like it's not for some other reason. It kind of sounds like she wants to make you her backup plan while she's free to pursue other interests, aka other guys. I'm guessing it's option two. This. She is using God as the reason for OP's breakup to remove any blame from herself. OP, don't let her string you along like that. Find someone that will appreciate and love you, and not blame God for her shortcomings and insecurities about the relationship. Why be with her when she is admitting to not being fully committed to you? End it now and save yourself the heartache. She's obviously not invested to the same degree that you are, and to be honest, this level of faithfulness hints at an underlying neuroticism that you're far better off without. When someone tells you, God is telling them to break up with you, you break up with them. One of two things is the case, either they believe it and no partner can compare to a deity, or they are looking to pull the ultimate, ha you have no answer for this argument, breakup card. Either way relationship over. Isn't there a third option? God really spoke to them and you should try to stay on their good side just in case it starts raining? Now for the final story. Help, a girl at my school is crying because I won't date her. Hey I'm just looking for advice so as to know how to handle this situation. Here's some background info, I'm in high school in Texas and here's the people in this story, me, me, S, my girlfriend, T and M, my best friends, and A, the girl who's the subject of the story. On with the story. When I was in middle school, on the day after Christmas break, I come back to first period to see that my seat's been moved and I'm sat near the new girl, A. At lunch, I introduce her to both D and M and to some other girls. I try to get to know her and make her comfortable through her move, and so that I wouldn't be her only friend, as I know how hard it is to switch schools. Now I have to say this, I was absolutely not romantically interested in her, and was trying to help out. This all blew up at the end of the year, as one day when me and T are waiting for M, him and a couple of people ran up to me in hysterics. I asked him what happened and when he tells me, I'm in shock. I walked into class to hear M talking to another one of our friends where they're talking about meeting at my house. This somehow, absolutely enrages A, who starts yelling at them as they're taking me away from her. I wouldn't have believed any of this, but it was all recorded by someone in the class. This caused me to kinda cut her off, as I don't need someone yelling at my friends. Then, in freshman year where, she apologized and I accepted. When sophomore year starts, I ask out one of my friends who I've really liked, S. S is absolutely amazing, she's kind, caring, intelligent, and beautiful. I now tries anything to insult her, and trying to sabotage, with her and my friends D and M. S always shrugs this off as she's extremely strong, but all of us can see that it's getting to her, so I decide to talk to A. I ask her if she can please stop doing this as it's horrible to say what she's doing. She then starts crying and saying that she loves me, what? Comma and that I need to be with her, and her only. I tell her no that I'm already with S, and I have no interest in dating her. She then starts crying again. S walks over trying to console Lay and what does A do? She freaking slaps her and tells her that she, doesn't deserve me. I get up and start yelling at A, and out of anger, call her a psycho, to which she starts crying again as T, D's GF, and M are all attending to S. Now she's going after S, T, D's GF, and M. I talked to A when she said that she got attached to me and wanted to date me. I told her no and she starts crying and yelling again. I just walk away and block her on everything that I have. Now A's friends know about this and are mad as I rejected her, when she loves me. A lot of people are supporting me, but some think that I horrible. What can I do to fix this? Now for the top advice. What can I do to fix this? Nothing. You need to learn one fact of life, you are not responsible for other people's happiness. If this chick can't figure out that you don't want to date her, that's her problem. Remove yourself from her life, 
Stop interacting with her. If her and her friends are a problem, so be it. You're not going to have everyone in the world happy with you all the time. In addition to this, the more you get involved, the worse you make it for you and for her. She needs to learn how to deal with the fact that nobody is obligated to provide her with a romantic relationship, and the more you step in, the worse it'll be for her in her process of trying to get over this. She likes you, you don't like her back. She has to accept that, just like the rest of the world does. You did nothing wrong, the problem is her, and she is the one who has to deal with the situation. Now A's friends know about this and are mad as I rejected her when she loves me. You're not responsible for other people's feelings. You're under no obligation to date someone you don't want to, no matter how she feels about it. Just because she slash her friends are mad at you, doesn't mean you've done anything wrong. You need to keep your distance from May and her friends, S needs to do likewise. Stop involving yourself, stop trying to make it better, because you can't. A is being unreasonable, and that's your problem, not yours. Also, I don't think she loves you in middle school. Like sure but I doubt she really loves you, she doesn't even really know you. You are so young for all this drama. Yeah, I know, but I feel bad because she keeps crying about it and complaining to get others. I just don't know what to do with her always talking about it to others. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. Turn the notification on to get updated on my latest posts. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.